I'm Anthea. I'm from St. Albert Public Library. I'm the Outreach Library Assistant. So I drive the outreach van. You may recognize me from when I visit parks, schools, daycares, seniors' homes. And today I join you from my home to your home so that we can do some crafts together. Today we're making some paper animal puppets as well as some puppets made out of toilet paper rolls. So the supplies that you'll need today are some blank standard size 8 by 11 paper, lined or unlined is fine and any color is fine. You will need some scissors as well as any type of glue and of course you'll need markers or crayons, something to decorate your puppet with. Some scrap pieces of paper might be needed as well to glue onto your puppet. And for the toilet paper roll craft, you might need some paint to decorate the roll before you turn it into an animal. So first we'll get started by making the paper animal puppet and I'll show you how to fold your it. paper into thirds. Next you fold your paper into half lengthwise. Now you fold the ends back up in half on each side. So this side here and then flip it over and fold this side back in half. Now you can take a look to make sure you did the folding correct. Make sure you have a puppet. You should have two openings for your fingers. And it works like this. Just as a finishing step, this is optional, but you can take some glue or some tape and just fold these loose, glue these loose tabs. And again on the bottom side, just a little bit of glue. And now you have your puppet. So now that you know how to fold your paper puppet, it's time to decorate it. You can turn it into any type of animal that you like. If it's some sort of bird, you might want to cut out some wings and glue them on, add a beak, This here is a dragon, and so we've attached some fire coming out of its mouth. We've cut out some feet and glued them on. What's most important with these paper puppets is that the face, the eyes, and the nose are on the outside, and the inside has their tongue and teeth whatever parts of their mouth. So next we're going to work on our toilet paper animal puppets. You can decorate your puppet however you like. If you want it to have some feet, you can cut them out and glue them on. You can color on some eyes or glue on some shapes. If you want it to have pointy ears, a neat way with a toilet paper roll is simply to bend in the tops of the roll to make some pointy ears. That might work for a cat puppet, whatever you like. 
And if you're making an octopus or a spider, you can take some scissors and simply cut the roll all along the bottom to make a bunch of legs. So I would love to see all your creations. You can post them in the comments section on this St. Albert Public Library Facebook post. And once you have several of these puppets you've created, make up a story with them and put on a puppet show for your parents, your siblings, or even just your stuffed animals. So I know that everyone misses the library, but while you're at home, check out our e-resources on St. Albert Public Library website. If you haven't heard of Press Reader before, you should definitely check it out. It's on St. Albert Public Library e-resources, and there's hundreds of free newspapers and magazines in all sorts of languages. So I'll show you some of my favorite kid, kids' magazines, which are available free on Press Reader with your library card. There's High Five Magazine, and it has crafts that you can do at home, stories, cartoons, recipes, all sorts of fun stuff to keep you busy. There's Highlights Magazine, which is for school-aged kids. And check out Press Reader for the hundreds of titles. There's quilting magazines, knitting, scrapbooking, you name it. Whatever you're interested in, there should be a magazine for you. So next week's Crafternoon will be hosted by Michelle, and we'll see everyone then. Thanks!